Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am a stay-at-home mom of three boys who are five and under. Today, I'm gonna take you through kind of a reset Sunday. Every Sunday, I like to get my thoughts figured out about homeschool, what we're gonna do, kind of any appointments coming up or things that I need to put on the schedule, meal plans, that kind of thing. And then I also like to create either snacks or breakfast for the boys, just like something really simple. Today, I'm gonna do muffins, so I'm gonna take you along as I'm making the blueberry muffins. Before baking the muffins, I was working on my planner. I like to get all of the things that are difficult for me to focus on while the kids are awake. I like to get those things done during naps, whereas baking is a little bit more autopilot. I can do that um, with them awake, so I try to get this stuff done first. Typically, we use Saturday as our kind of rest family day, and then Sundays are our reset day. And I say reset, but honestly, gosh, I... I feel like every single video I say that I'm struggling, but I just, I don't, I just am always struggling lately. And I know that this is just a really hard season, but I really am praying that the Lord will strengthen me and kind of refocus me because I have been all over the place, quite honestly. So it's going to look like I'm really organized in this video, but I really am just trying to get back on my feet because we had sickness come through our house through me and then also through the kids and we've been potty training and we are also in a new place we've been here for about a month and so yeah we're just kind of all over the place but through the lord's strength we will get everything that needs to get done done and that is the beauty about god is that he can everything that he needs to be done he can help us to get it done Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I Also hoping to pick up a water table and some kind of a baby pool or something this evening for them to do in our backyard-ish thing. I'll take you back there and show you kind of what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's not really much for them to do out here. We do have their little playhouse. And I did bring some sticks from a hike that we went on. They've got a couple of chairs, a little bike, but I want to be able to get some kind of water element because it's still really hot. So I'm gonna try to grab something like that this evening and need to water these plants. But yeah. I sort of feel like I went from, I'm, I'm like on a pendulum, like I went from working my tail off, being way too structured and trying to create way too much planned out things in our day, all the way to the other side of just like kind of laziness, honestly, where I just ended up like just letting things happen as they came and then just like kind of giving up when the kids would rest, like when they would take a nap, I would just end up just laying on the couch and then like just doing small things here and there, but not really doing anything fully with excellence. Like it would just be half done because I'm just all over the place. So I am really just praying that God will help me to 
be that Proverbs, to channel my inner Proverbs 31 woman, to just kind of get my house back in order. And so yeah, if you can just pray for that, that would be great. And I pray that for you as well. I have been reading Psalm 125 through 128, and I really just want this to be entering into my home, especially Psalm 128. It says, Happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You will surely eat what your hands have worked for. You will be happy and it will go well for you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house, your children like young olive trees around your table. In this very way, the man who fears the Lord will be blessed. May the Lord bless you from Zion so that you will see the prosperity of Jerusalem all of the days of your life and will see your children's children. Peace be with Israel. And so that just paints a beautiful picture of a working home. So I am just praying that God will help me to just sort of create that working home again because I know I've had it <laughs> and I just need some more order back in our home. But yeah, we're also just rolling with the punches. Sometimes you just have to roll with the punches and just do the best that you can and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I have an entire sink of dishes. Maybe you already saw that. <laughs> you need to get something done quickly, but you have an entire sink full of dishes, and so that's where I'm at right now. It is almost five o'clock, so I need to be getting dinner going right now, but I need to get these muffins going. So I'm gonna get the muffins done, and then hopefully we'll do dinner shortly after that. Maybe I can get dinner going while the muffins are in the oven. Something kind of funny about editing these videos is that I get to relive my week, even the hard stuff. And so it's kind of painful for me to watch this because I'm recognizing so many moments that I had really poor time management. And I think that's really what I feel like the Lord is trying to show me right now is that I need to do a better job of managing my time. I think I'm just kind of working too slowly or spending too much time on certain items certain items oh my gosh i can't talk i'm spending too much time on certain tasks that should be taken care of much quicker i'm just becoming too much of a perfectionist on some things anyways i'm an overthinker also so yeah i'm sorry if all of this sounds like babble <laughs> oh my gosh I am happy to say that the rest of this week did look a lot better. The first couple of days were tough with potty training and the fact that my brain was all over the place, but I will say time management has been definitely the root issue of all of my problems. And so I have been trying to do a better job of just kind of blocking out, okay, at this time I'm going to stop and then I will start doing dishes. It took me a little while to figure out that this was my issue, but especially on this day when I was making these muffins, I really felt the weight of not managing my time well. I was making these muffins while dinner needed to be made, and so what happened was I ended up, first of all, I made way too many muffins. I had, oh my gosh, I had tripled the recipe for some dumb reason and then realized that I only had one muffin pan and so I walked on over next door to ask my neighbor that I had never met before, hey, can I borrow your muffin tin? And luckily she was super nice about it, but yeah, it did save me a lot of time having her muffin tin pan thing. But there is definitely not enough time to be saved in that um, what ended up happening was that my husband had to make the dinner and he ended up having to do dishes also didn't get to meal prep his stuff for his work the next day and then i was doing baths kind of late in the day yeah it was just kind of a mess and we were both really exhausted by the end of it all and just really felt um yeah that it was all my fault <laughs> earlier i had talked about Proverbs 31 very briefly and just kind of said that I have been wanting to channel my inner Proverbs 31 woman and honestly as I read Proverbs 31 
usually I get kind of overwhelmed because that woman just seems so perfect. But when you read on to the very end and it says, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. Give her the reward of her labor and let her works praise her at the city gates. And really what it's saying is that it's not so much all of the things that she's doing, like those are still good things that the Lord sees, but it's really simply that she fears the Lord. That's why she's being praised. She works with her hands willingly, but because she fears the Lord. She rises while it is still night because she fears the Lord. She provides food for her household because she fears the Lord. That is why she is being praised and rewarded for her labor is because of her relationship with the Lord. And so that has really just been what I've been trying to consolidate all of my overwhelm down to. So if I get super overwhelmed by just all of the things that I feel like I need to be doing and how I'm just so unorganized and all over the place and all of those things, just pausing for a minute and just being like, wait, I love Jesus and Jesus loves me and I can spend time with him and that is worthy. I may not be able to check off every single box or even one box sometimes, but I can spend time with him and connect with him and abide in him. And that is going to be the most important thing that I do all day long. It can be so incredibly frustrating when we feel like we're failing at so many different things, failing in so many areas of our lives. Like one of the things that I have been trying to make is a sourdough starter because I have searched all around my city and have yet to find someone who is has a sourdough starter and is willing to give me some of it and so I've had to try to make my own which has been a good thing for me and I really am determined to make it work somehow um, through trial and error but it is tough it is frustrating every time that I feel just learning to get back up again and I think that that is super important for the goals that I have in the future for just really wanting to be a homesteader. P.S. Like, I want to be a homesteader. If anyone didn't know that, that's like one of my dreams. And so, um, yeah. If you have any pointers for making sourdough starters, I have been struggling with having too much liquid forming at the top and it'll it'll maybe rise for like a day but then it never rises again and then it keeps forming that liquid at the top and i've been trying to put it into the oven with the light on with the oven off obviously but it still hasn't really been doing what i wanted to do i also bought a scale to try to make the measurements more exact but i just got the scale yesterday so i'm not really sure how that's gonna do yet anyways if you have any awesome tips to help me out to get this thing going that would be greatly appreciated. I've been working at this for several weeks now, so it's getting a little bit frustrating. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. The like button will help me out with the algorithm and click that subscribe button if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.